Hello everyone. Today, let's talk about beard transparency or transparency of the beard. And um, do you have it? And if you do, what do you do about it? And actually, I want to do two things. Second is I want to also talk about beard transparency for white beards. Uh, it can be tricky and uh, I'll just show you what I know or what I've learned. Hey you guys, just real quick, my name is Joe T and I'm uh, just a guy growing a beard and I'm bringing what I'm learning that I think that you need to know. Um, back to you in this format, a real easy, simple, no edit, push and play as if me and you were talking back and forth. So you guys, thanks for all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Let's keep going, let's build this channel. And hey, if you like this content, all I ask is thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get to this. Beard transparency when you're growing, especially when you're growing a big beard. So what is it? It is when you uh, are growing your beard and the hair is getting thinner at the bottom and you can start seeing through it. It's transparent, right? You can see through it. Um, a lot of guys are going to get that. I, I get it. And probably most guys do get that. And really the simplest thing to do is just to trim that transparency off. And I know, oh man, especially if you're growing for length, how scary that can be if you're going to trim. Why trim, right? I'm not trimming for a year, that type of thing. And hey, I get it. But if you get to the point where you have got your beard and then you've got places along the way that are growing and longer, say that much longer, but your but your rest of your beard is up here. You guys, it's transparency trim time. Get that cut off, make it a, a nice little trim here. Don't cut anything on the sides. Just make a line here. Let's say I've got some that's hanging down here, three or four places, and it's really thin. Just do that little bit of a trim. I use scissors, I don't use clippers. Uh, so I can take my time and I might just cut off just a little bit and uh, wait and see and then go back in again. So, um, and I know, I know what's tough if, like I said, if you're growing to, to trim that off, but man, you guys, when you do your beard, um, I recently just did one, uh, yesterday I just did eh, just a little bit. Uh, I took it off just because what it does afterwards is your beard gets it looks bigger and fuller there's so many examples of that and uh and mine as well and now the thing is and when you're doing that trim a lot of times your hair is going to then come up some and i know we're wanting length but it's going to come up and fill and then and look sharp all the way around and the key to that is just taking off a little bit of that transparency and then your beard really looks full and it's all gonna come up some. I mean, look at the, the hair here, you know, it's going to curl anyway, that's having weight. Now, on the transparency, the longer ones that are coming down, they're longer so they're heavier and that's why they're pulling down. You do a little bit of trim on those and they're going to pop back up and help fill your beard out. So you guys, I'm just saying that, um, I know it's scary, you may not wanna do it, but hey, that transparency trim is the way to go to make your beard uh, look bigger after the trim as you're growing out or maybe you're maintaining it at that length. So uh, do the transparency uh, trim. Now, let me go over the trim for white beards. Um, and what I've noticed on that, maybe even some gray colored beards as well, is it gets a little tricky on the transparency trims. Um, and like I was you know, saying before, if you've got some long ones and you can see them, that's fine. But what I mean by that guys, and you guys that don't have white beards, is our entire beard is really transparent. And, uh, you know, you can see my blue shirt through my beard, uh, but let me show you really how transparent, at least my white beard is. Watch, I'm gonna go under, and I'm all the way under. Look, you can see my hand. 
all the way up. My end examples are here. So the tricky is I can't do a transparency trim on being, oh, look, I can see through my beard because it's a white beard and I'm gonna see all the way through it. I wouldn't have a beard if I did that, right? And I can't have a short beard or I don't like the short beard on me because if I'm all the way along or on the other side of the room, you gotta get real close to me to see if I even have a beard just because of, of the color, uh, my skin color and so forth. So uh, that's why I like the longer beard. Um, but yeah, you guys, the white one is tricky. So what I do is I suggest is to fix your beard the way that you normally do. And um, every once in a while, just take a little bit off, especially if you're just, if you're growing for length, just trim a little bit off to clean yourself up. And I'm talking maybe every three or four months and you know, a half an inch or so, not much. Uh, depending on what you need, especially if you haven't done it before. But yeah, I find that uh, just a little maintenance trim in here um, every three, four months or so uh, brings my beard back up. And actually, I get compliments of, wow, your beard is getting bigger. And that's after a trim. So, uh, And you're going to find that too, not just in the white, you guys. If you do that transparency, transparency trim, um, yeah, I think you're, you'll see people be complimenting you on wow your beard is getting bigger and that's after you you trimmed it so hey that's what i got right now uh i got other things and again if you haven't subscribed come on guys why not hey help me meet my next goal of 1000 subscribers and then we'll go from there i got more coming soon thanks